pipe door. This is stud getting met. Double, look at mine. Yeah, yours is gonna eat mine when I release it. See you later, pretty mama. Oh, yeah. Got me a wishbone. Nice better, one. Better fish. Not a bad one. Good morning, addicts. Well, I don't know if it's morning when you're watching this or not, but welcome to another episode of Addicted Life. We're out here on one of our favorite bass fishing lakes once again, and we're excited. It's pre-spawn bass fishing. We're casting spinnerbaits, we're searching. We think we got these fish figured out now. We fished this lake yesterday, so you guys have probably already seen that episode, but this is part two to that. We got a couple goals. Goal number one is we're gonna get our cameraman, Sean, on a fish. So we're gonna let him fish right out the gate. I'm gonna run the, the Minn Kota Altera from the remote and just kind of keep it straight. And Cody and Sean are gonna fish and Mike's gonna film with the GoPro or even with the big camera, I don't really know yet. But we're gonna try to get Sean a fish. That's goal number one. And then I don't know where the rest of the day is gonna go. So we'll just see what happens, right Mike? Yep. See where it goes. See where it goes. Yep. We got Mike Kaplan with us today. What's we up, got guys? Cody in the background. Sean on the camera. Welcome to another episode of Addicted Life. Tap that subscribe button. Turn on those bell notifications. Every single Sunday we put out these episodes, so stay tuned for some exciting bass fishing. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm kind of new to these trolling motors, and I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get them down. I'm super excited. This is the first year I put this Minn Kota on my on my sled, and my goal was to basically just learn it, figure it out, use the remote, use the pedal, and just get it dialed to where I can kind of fish and run the motor. That's the whole point of having these things. So I'm excited to get them going. If you guys have a Minn Kota out there, comment. Let me know if there's any like quick tips or anything that I should know for for having one of these things or anything that you guys have experienced that you like about them or don't like about them, comment below. We'd love to hear about your uh, your experience with Minn Kota trolling motors. I got one on my boat now. All right, everyone, who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be Sean or is it gonna be Cody? Who's gonna catch the first fish? Who in the heck is it gonna be? Who do you think? Got Mike on the camera. I'm running the trolling motor. Who's it gonna be? We got tournament number one, Cody versus Sean. First person to catch a fish, and then we switch to Marlin and Mike. Who's gonna get one? Who's gonna get one? Come on, guys. Make something happen here. We got our little mini tournament going on. Got cameraman Sean trying to get his first bass of the trip. Bingo. That's like the one we were catching all those fish on yesterday, just yeah. like that. Well, also, I think it was like just a little bit smaller of a bait, you know? Yeah. Like, just, doing like a mess. you know, just fucking downsizing it a little bit. So it's not as big as a profile. Yeah. So basically guys and gals out there watching, we're switching our baits up. We ran a little bit of the shore, but we were running like a willow, like a bigger willow leaf style blade. And we're switching to the Indiana or Colorado style blades. Basically just the round, show them those blades, Sean on those. I think that's what they call an Indiana blade. I don't know. I'm not a freaking master of blades, so I have no freaking idea. But we're switching to those because you can fish them a little bit slower and you can run and they still spin nicely and throw out that flash. They also throw out just a bigger vibration in my opinion. So those seem to be what was working yesterday. So no sense in switching it up and trying to reinvent the wheel. We're going to use what was working yesterday. Let's do it. All right, Addicts update. We decided because the way the wind was blowing, I better just get on the foot pedal and guide these guys. Just, well, we're gonna guide up the shore real slowly and let them fish. We're doing a little kind of mini tournament here. First up's Cody versus Sean, our camera guy. Hopefully we can get him a fish. He's working hard for us and hopefully you guys are loving these addicted lives that he is making. So everyone comment below and give Sean a clap clap because we appreciate him. We're gonna hopefully get him a bass. Cody's a loser. He won't catch one. Sean's gonna win. We'll see. Then it's gonna be me and Mike. Stay tuned. Oh, no, oh yeah, he's pretty nice. He's pretty nice. He's actually pretty nice, Cody. Is he? Yeah. I mean, he's two probably. Fish on, Cody. He won the tournament. Nice. 
Cody's the winner. Damn it, Sean, what the heck? Sorry, bud. All right, now Cody's on camera. Mike rotates in, and it's Cody, Mike versus Sean. Don't lose the two people, Sean. All right, Mike's in now. Now we got Mike in, Mike versus Sean. We rotated Cody out. I think you're gonna beat Mike. Right, Mike? Nope. Actually, you, Sean should be up here. Rotate out. That's fine. Front angler, what the hell's going on right now? That was my fault. Just yesterday, guys, that log right there, we caught a five pounder off of. Let's see if we can't get us another one. Come on, Sean, six pounder. You know what the best thing about this freaking motor is? Watch this. What's that? It's just gonna anchor us right here. It's like a spot lock feature and it's pretty much game changing. You know, as you grow, you know, you grow up as a little kid or you grow up as a kid and you watch like TV or you just watch fishing people and you're, I remember the first time, I don't even know that I was a kid. I might even have been an adult. I probably was, but I remember when I saw the commercial for this trolling motor and I thought to myself, one day, I'm gonna have one of those damn trolling motors. Great job marketing, Minn Kota, but regardless, these freaking things are not just hype. They are so badass, and once I learn how to use it so much better, I just know it's gonna make me a better fisherman, so thanks, Minn Kota. Yeah, we're not gonna film it if Mike catches a fish. We're gonna trick everybody in, in thinking Mike's a loser. And it's hey man, one. I'm not a loser this weekend. I caught my PB. I'm all right That's if I don't true. catch a fish today. That's true. Oh, it sucks because I think it's probably going to be another like hardcore afternoon bite. And we're not going to be here for it. We have to go home and publish Addicted Life. That's what we do for all you addicts out there. We sacrifice. We know for a fact that the fishing is going to be so much better this afternoon because that's what's been happening as the water warms up. But we got to go home and get Addicted Life published tonight so you guys can watch it. We got a sick bottom fishing episode. Oh, hot damn. We got Sean in the front now. Sean's in the front. Cody back there caught a little one and a half pounder or something. We didn't weigh it. We weighed all of our fish yesterday, but we didn't weigh them today. It was too small to weigh. We'll put the bigger ones on the on the mustad scale. Mike's in the back. We got Sean and Mike fishing now because Cody caught a fish. We're kind of playing this rotate, rotate game here. It's a lot of fun. We're hoping we can get Sean on a fatty. I'm running the I'm running the motor up here, the pedal. We could all, I could be fishing in the front too, but I'm trying to let Sean catch a fish because he doesn't get to catch as many as us because he's always filming. So bless his little heart. Bless. Oh, got him. Nope. Log. Got him a log. That would have been so perfect if I would, that would have been bless his little heart. <laughs> Damn it. We're getting that because we need that spinner bait. Fish. Fish, get, up, get the camera out. It's a got, nice one. I saw it. Yeah, boys. Got me another five pounder. <laughs> All right. Hopefully we get into some that are a little bit bigger than that, but looks like I'm out. Marlin's in. I lost. Well, I don't think it counts if it's that small. Yeah, I don't think it's fair. Any yeah. fish. That fish that Mike caught? Yeah. So I get to keep fishing. Okay. Nice one. No, Here Mike just hooked up there. right at the boat. Ha <laughs> ha! He hit it at the boat and then I and then he let go. That's and I let it Here. sit there. Here. Is Mike taking my fish? Well, gave you the opportunity. <laughs> clean up, play clean up. Yeah. Look at his tail from making their beds. Yeah, look at that right there. All chewed up. Nice. It's been a good weekend. Let's get a release. Perfect. Well, Mike just got that fish, and so now it's Marlon's turn to. Come on, boys, give me one. Fish against still. I still haven't caught a nice fish. Still All I caught was like six inches yesterday. Yeah. Oh, you hooked up? Yeah, hooked up on a tree fish. Hey, if you reel it really fast, it just bounces over those logs. 
Well, that's uh, that only works if you can see the log. I'm but. messing with you, I know. Come on, come off of there. We can't be losing these baits anymore. We lost too many of them yesterday. Oh yeah, baby! What is he, little guy? I don't know. Yeah, it looks, it looks not too bad, but not too big. That'll do though. Cameraman on one, fling him into the boat, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, long arm that fish. <laughs> Make it look real big. Yeah, it's it's big. huge. It's like a 14 incher. There you go, dude. Finally. Get you a bigger one. Downsizing a little bit here. Oh my! Did you see that, Cody? I was watching you. I, I got grabbed out. instantly. First cast with that bait. <laughs> it was little, but it, I mean, it got grabbed like right away. He missed it. Like he didn't hit it though, you know? It's like a small one though. Another fish. Sean's second fish. Let's keep that pace up all day. Right? Little guy. There we go. Count it. Get another one. Get that one's girlfriend. So what do we got going on here, Mike? I hit my PV yesterday. And it's kind of nice out today, not as windy. And I think I'm going to try to catch a fish on a swim bait. So we'll see how it goes. Get a weedless huddle stand here. That's like the same size as the fish you caught earlier. Me? Yeah. I think it was bigger than that. Mm, not much. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's on the video. On a side note, guys, Sean is still fishing. So if a good portion of this episode looks like crap it's because i'm not the best cameraman in the boat so i apologize come on let's get us a big fat one today big old freaking pre-spawn bertha yeah you'd think if we were if the fish were here we'd be getting them we were yeah we are on the other side right yeah like, but it's weird that they're only in that one little stretch that's what i don't understand like what is causing them to only hang out right there that's the weirdest thing ever maybe it was the high wind yesterday it just pushed everything that way but then again there should be they should be on that point right there too that's what i mean like there's so many ambushes even if they weren't uh, even if they weren't up here they should at least be on that point you have all, look at all this structure and Mike, when we go back through that area again, you should run something different. Should I drop shot off that side? Or run like a square bill or something. I'll run a square bill. Just run something different. All right, addicts, midday update here. What is it, 10 or 11? 11, 11 o'clock. We basically have been trying to bounce around and see if we can find these fish in any other areas and they're not. They're just, they're, we found them in a specific grass line and I think there's just this transitional water there. I don't know why they're hanging out there, but we're gonna go back to where the fish are at. Stay tuned. Fish. Right at the boat, dude. Good trout. Let him? No. Okay. Yeah, just cut him loose. Dude, he hit right at the boat. That was insane. Square bill. What? Fish in here. You got bit? Uh huh. A bunch of wood. Yeah, that was definitely fish, though. Yeah, I'm planning on losing this thing. These square bills do are supposed to be pretty good for bouncing off wood, aren't they? Yeah. There's a lot of wood in here, though. There he is. As soon 
hit the water. Yep. And that little, like, so like a little indentation in yeah. the grass. Another tiny guy. It really makes me wonder. Tiny. If you were to go up, there's one. Nicer one. Good. Nicer one. Oh yeah, it's a nicer one. It's a stud. Get the net. It really makes me wonder, Mike, if you were to pitch the grass with like soft plastics. Like in the yeah, way up in there. Yeah. That's a freaking chunky mama. That's gotta be a four at least. Freaking fat Double. belly. Yeah. Double, look at mine. Yeah, yours is gonna eat mine when I release it. Finally, dude. <laughs> all you people out there watching, you just gotta keep grinding. I have been trying all weekend to hook a fish that's bigger than like six inches. And I finally got one. But I also been running the boat the whole day and I'm not gonna make that as an excuse because I need to get good at running the boat and catching fish. So I like to practice in doing that. And so I accomplished it. Hell yeah, let's put this thing on the scale. Look at her, dude. She just absolutely ate the freaking thing. It's like in her, she just choked on it. Now let's see I'm what she weighs. Three pounds, 13 ounces. All right, let's check her out here. So when you scale these fish, you wanna make sure that you do not put it on the gill. So you get right on the outside edge of the lip there. And then let's see what she weighs here. What'd you say, Mike, Cody? Three pounds, 13 ounces. She is three pounds, seven ounces. Nice. Let's let her go. See you later, pretty mama. Finally, dude. She freaking just crushed it, too. Like, just choked on it. Is that right on the grass, too? Just choked. No, she was out from it quite a ways. Dude, and the whole time, the Minn Kota is just holding us right where we stay. That is such a bad A feature. Like, so amazing. Dude, thanks, Charles. Charles stole these from his kids and left them on the boat for us. Thank you, man. Did he really? Yeah. The whole box? He, ha he said he had him at home and he took the box. What a wiener, dude. One advantage to fishing out of a 22-foot Umqua Marine is that there's lots of platforms for us to fish on. Look at this. <laughs> Just fishing right off the gunnel, about to catch me a five-pounder. God, I can't believe they're not eating those Bandito bugs. Kinda like, weird. those fish are obviously sitting right on the grass line. Why are they not? munching on that. Yeah, I haven't felt one take or anything. Dude, what if I started just twitching? Twitching the spinner rig. Like a coho. You know what would make this video? Is if I fell in right now. Who thinks I should fall in? Comment below if you Who want me to I fall in. Push, Comment below if you want me to fall in. I want to see how many of you people hate me. I've got my own car on this trip. I'm still going to get home. You're not because I guarantee you, if I get pushed in, your tires, all four of them, are getting slashed. Oh man! Fish right there. Nice. On the old square belly. Square bill is not producing anything too big right now. I guess none of us really are, huh? Except for Marlin. Double, double. This thing's freaking fighting weird. Oh, it's because it's little. Look at that, Tiny dude. Mystery continues. Oh. Did you get him in the eye again? Yeah. See you later, little man. These Akuma rods, these Scott Martin rods, especially this, uh, it's a crankbait jerk rod with that real nice soft tip on it. Feels amazing on any fish. Like that little guy, especially that trout. Just had it bent over so bad, so good. I think that water, dude, it, it, it looks murky to us. It's probably insanely murky to them. I don't know why, they they sure aren't eating them though. We've tried it all. Yeah, everything we've been throwing is bright. Like even like the square bill. Well, it seems like the only thing they're wanting to eat is like reaction mother. Yeah.
yeah, just reaction style baits. Yeah. If it wasn't so freaking a rattle trap, I bet would work really good if you could fish it right. I just think you'd lose it every cast. This last hundred yards has been the best, like the whole time, like for some weird reason. Fish, fish, nice one. Better fish. Looks nice. Better than my last one. Let go. Stop moving, little Betty. Not a bad one. Barely. Here, hold on. Let me get a pick. Barely hooked. Look at how this is hooked. Look in the mouth. That thing was barely hooked. I mean, it was just in its mouth. Just clamped down on it. Sweet. Nice fish. I don't know. Yeah, I think he's decent. It's not. Is that a net fish? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's nice. It's really nice. Probably ain't that nice. Good, so. Nicer than. Oh yeah, she's a chunky. Yeah. Nice one. What a pretty little fish. All right, see you later. Thanks for the fun, little dude. She gone. She gone. Oh yeah, she bent that spinner bait big time. That's right though. That fish was way out from that log. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even hit like, I didn't even hit that great of a spot, you know? It was way out when I hit the water. All right, addicts, little midday update. It's lunchtime. We're almost ready to leave the lake now. We've had a pretty good day. Caught a couple nicer fish, but time to wrap it up here. We got about 100 yards of bank left that we're going to fish. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please comment. Let us know. Give us your feedback. Let us know what you want to see more of, what you want to see less of who you want to see more of and who you want to see less of. Do you want to see more of Cody, more of Mike? Let us know. We'd love to hear your guys' feedback of what you guys want to see in these episodes because at the end of the day, we're making them for all you addicts out there. And last but not least, don't forget to tap this little subscribe button and share this out. Show a buddy. Tell a buddy about Addicted Life. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're going to wrap up the day here. This trip's a waste if I don't get a nine pounder. Come on, guys. We got to end it on a bang. We gotta end the day on a bang. And I'm talking like seven pounder, something big, something fat, something huge. Nice one? Eh. Nope. Feels about like the last one. Not, not a banger? Nope, little. Little guy. Dang it. Could have been the could have been the one we we're looking for, Mike. Why don't you guys triple up with me and we'll call that a day. Nice one, little chunky. Oh my god. Broke the spinnerbait off? I didn't even touch the fish. What pound line are you using? 20. It not came apart. Who tied the knot? I don't know. Did you put the spinnerbait on? Not on this rod, no. What do you mean? You put that on this morning, didn't you? No, it's a different rod than I had this morning. Wow. Wow. Way to end it on a bang by losing my favorite freaking spinnerbait. Now we're down to one. Who do you guys think that was? Was it Cody's fault? Was it Mike's fault? Who tied that knot? That's a mystery. I need mine. The only one I tied today was straight to break for. It's a mystery. Huh. Oh well. It was a landed fish. He got it. He touched it. We're counting it. Landed. It counts. It counts, Kaplan. Dude, we still didn't find like the big females. I think that we're early. I seriously don't think that those fish have come up, even come up to feed yet. Like, where are they? Like, they, we found like one area that has a bunch of fish and that's it. It's weird. And we caught a few other random ones, like in weird areas around, but I saw that happen. I saw that happen in mid flight. It's so amazing. Epicness.
said we were going to end it with a bang because we got too cocky and now it's just getting ended with a wang. A Not a bang, a wang. Yeah, just walking along the gunnel and doing a dance. It's called the freaking seven pound bass dance. Yeah. If you fall in, it's called the bill dance. Ho 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 ho! Sweet Peace joke. Lapper. Fish? Yeah. Stick. That was on the log though. Oh, yeah. In the weeds. He looks chunky. go. Hooked all right on. Fat. See, like those are just little males, dude. Yeah. Like, where's the females? Yeah, for sure. Where are the Here it goes. Oh, uh, yeah. They've all been pretty small today. I mean, the biggest we got was five yesterday, but we caught like a four, a four and a half, a five. But there's even bigger ones in here. Like, there's way bigger ones in here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get on the pedal and we're gonna freaking zip up this shoreline as we fish up the shoreline and then we're leaving. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, my hook got caught at the last second. Oh, come on. Ah, look, the death trap in there. Off one, on another. Yee! That's not coming off. That's gonna be hard to break too. Pretty lucky this one. If I can leave this this lake run with this spinner. Might have to put it away for the year. Only used on special occasions. Oh yeah. Got me a wishbone. <laughs> that thing hit pretty good. Last fish of the day right there. Last catch of the day. Now we're gonna get another one to watch. Hopefully. Oh, quick release. Come on, Betty. Betty, where are you? I think you're right. I think she's still in the depths. All right. Do it. Get the rods in the, put my rods in the rod lockers. Clean her up, boys. Let's get it cleaned up. Get all the garbage put in the garbage can. All right, guys. We were just heading out, and uh, a fellow angler out here it looks like he caught a really nice largemouth, and he's he has it on the scale right now. I think we're gonna go over there and see if we can't get a picture for you guys. Oh, he's trying to get a picture. Yeah, we were, dude, we we're gonna see if you wanted us to have you help you take a pick. How much you weigh? Five? Nice, dude. Here, we'll get in there close and then we'll uh, we'll snap a pick of you. He's got a little bigger boat than mine. Yeah. <laughs> you been finding them today? No. This is my second one of the day. First one is just a dinker. Ready, dude? One, two, three. That's a chunker. Turn your belly just a little bit. There you go. Perfect. Think you could send those to me? Yeah, I will, dude. You got like a Facebook or something? Yeah, I'm gonna let it go. It's yeah, for sure. Well, yeah. Good luck, dude. That was a stud. We Thank were like, you. damn. I'm gonna go over and see if I can get this <laughs> guy. For, coming over and for sure, you. dude. Awesome. All right, man. Have a good afternoon. You too. I guess I, I texted him to you. Awesome. Thank you. All right, everyone, so we were cruising actually back to the dock. We're kind of wrapping up our day, and we saw a fellow angler out there on the water, and he, you know, he, we saw him get, I saw him net a nice fish. You could see it was like freaking chunker. 
you know, he kind of held it up for us and I fist pounded for him and we saw him struggling trying to get a picture. So we cruised over there and helped him take a couple pictures of it and uh, text messaged it to him. It was a five pounder, it was a freaking stud. So caught it on a jig, pretty damn cool. Back to the dock, wrapping up our day. All right, addicts, we are here at the Chevron station and we're wrapping up our day. We totally are losers and forgot to outro this video on the lake. So we're outro on it here at the Chevron station. Cody's getting a can of chew. Don't chew, it's cancerous. Cody's a bad example to all you kids out there, but disgusting. disgusting. Anyway, we're on our way home. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode of Addicted Life. As always, we're giving you an opportunity to win a prize pack and you just gotta do a few things. Give this video a thumbs up share it out there, text message it to your buddies, do whatever you can to help us get these episodes out into the world. Comment below with what your favorite part about the episode was or what you hated about the episode, doesn't matter. Just drop a comment because that's where we're gonna pick a winner and be a subscriber. These people should subscribe, right Mike? They should, yeah. Every single week we're putting out episodes of these things and we've been dropping all sorts of knowledge on you guys, tutorials, videos throughout the week, almost daily uploads. So be a subscriber, tap the little subscribe button right here that's popping up and turn on those bell notifications. And thanks so much for tuning in to Addicted Life. We will see you next Sunday. Later guys. Oh, do you even miss it?